Well, hello again and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to get that Vosk server running. So let me switch over to the desktop and get right into it. So, this is how you get it started. Just copy this, as long as you have Docker installed. Just copy it, go over to a terminal, and start it up. All right, now I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. And so what I can do is a Docker, a PS minus A, and you can see here, this has been running now for six hours on port 2700. And that's what I wanted. I wanted it to run there. Now, uh, going back here, we can see that there's test, uh, there's some test code in here. So grab this, do a git clone, get this guy, then cd into it. And then uh, once we have it there, create a, uh, an environment for it. I've got this uh, Vosk server environment. Uh, that's a conda create minus n Vosk server. And then conda activate Vosk server. And then uh, once that's done, uh, pip3 install uh, web sockets. Pip3, install WebSockets. And uh, you need that because let's take a look at this file here, uh, test.py. It has to have a sync IO uh, and also WebSockets. I believe that when you import WebSockets, it also imports a sync IO. I don't remember 100%. So to be on the safe side, you can always do a pip3 install async IO as well. So then you import these, you import sys and you import wave. And then uh, we create this WebSocket uh, object. We create this uh, wave file object. And then we uh, send it. Uh, the WebSocket, some configuration information, the sample rate, and we get the frame rate back. And with the frame rate, we set our buffer size. And this can be, this is set here for two seconds of audio. And then while true, we uh, open up the uh, WAV file and read uh, frames to the amount of the buffer size. If the length is equal to zero, that means there's no more to read, so we break. Uh, otherwise, we uh, send the socket, the data. And we use this await uh, word here uh, from async IO to say that we're not gonna do anything until this comes back. So we create a thread that we send this web socket on and it's a joint thread, which means that we, we wait, we block at that point. And then uh, it comes back and we print it. And uh, I included this print done so we could see where that was. And then uh, over here, we're going to send the next I'm sorry uh, let's go back here this uh, reads this reads the wave file and puts it into data to the amount of the buffer size if Data, if the length of data is zero, that means there's nothing left, so we break. If not, then we're going to send the data here to the WebSocket. And we're going to keep doing this until 
we get no more data, which at which time we break. And then we do this WebSocket send along with an end of file. And at that point, we ask for the WebSocket to send us everything it's got. Right, so at this point, as soon as it gets that EOF, it knows there's nothing else to convert from speech to text. So it sends back everything for the session. And then we print that out. And so this is a function called run test, which takes a URI. And here we run that run test and send it the URI of localhost 2700. So web service colon slash slash localhost colon 2700. And then this is going to, uh, well, let's run it at this point. And there we go. By the way, we can do an A play here. One zero 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 one. Nine zero two one zero. Zero one eight zero three. All right. So you should have heard that. I hopefully you've heard that. Uh, that's the text that's being converted. And so what happens here? You'll see that uh, we get all these partials back up until it says done. And then uh, we get this large object back. And I think this is a JSON object that goes to here. All of this is the same object that's returned. And so now I have to figure out how to get this part here. And I suspect it's a JSON load uh, command, but I'm going to have to play with that for a little bit. Anyway, this shows that uh, indeed the Docker command that we ran did start the VOSC server listening on port 2700. It took about maybe a minute or two minutes because it had to download the model along with everything else to get that server up and running. But that's pretty easy. If you have Docker installed, it's no problem. If you don't have Docker installed, go and watch a, uh, a video on how to install Docker. It's not very hard. And then, uh, then we, we went out and we got the uh, code, the test code, uh, the example code uh, from uh, Alpha uh, Seth. And then uh, we, we ran it. Then we modified it so that we could use it within our own code. I think it's going to be okay. I think it's fast enough. I think it's accurate enough. Uh, so we'll see if we can make something from this, some nice interactive uh, uh, conversations uh, with the computer. Anyway, I thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, got something from it. Bye-bye. Uh,